Here at Lime Old Lime Public High School, we are very excited about the opportunity that the EDS Fund grant presents. We are a small public high school located in Old Lime, Connecticut at the mouth of the Connecticut River. Our school is a regional one, drawing from the towns of Lime and Old Lime. We have a very active and forward-looking technology and engineering department. We call it TED. It teaches STEM curriculum and incorporates the maker philosophy throughout all of its classes. Currently, over 200 students participate in over 10 classes and after-school activities in our STEM lab. We were selected as one of the country's top STEM schools by U.S. News and World Reports. We have had great success with our first robotics program. Our team, the Technotix, now in our 16th year, has been a seven-time regional chairman's award winner and national winner. Recently, in March, we won our district competition, beating 39 other teams and ranking as a top seed. The robot program has helped drive the maker movement here at our high school and in our TED lab. Equally successful, our Electrothon electric vehicle team has had dozens of top place finishes. Competing against other high schools and colleges on the track, our success comes from our continued dedication and an investment in our TED program. One example of this investment are the numerous pieces of equipment we have saved from the scrapyard by restoring them to operating condition. Also, much of the new technology we have added has come by pursuing grants and donations for our TED space. Our TED program recently underwent an extensive change as part of a larger building renovation. In the past, the department was focused on teaching trades. These trades were divided into separate rooms and collaboration was limited. When the opportunity of a school-wide building renovation allowed us to reimagine what our shops could become, we fully embraced it as a way to prepare our students for the modern design world. The new space fully integrates design, engineering, and manufacturing, just as it should. The drafting lab, or CAD space, is directly connected to our TED lab. A large garage door, which spends the majority of its time in the open position, connects the two spaces. Students easily move between the rooms, where once a student may have only experienced CAD, our curriculum now asks them to engage in the full engineering process, from idea to completed project. Hi, I'm Sal. I'm Sajay. We're both of the Lime with Lime High School Electrothon team, and we recently won our second consecutive race at Lime Rock Park. For our 2015 season, we're creating a new car. The majority of our parts require a CNC lathe to create. We currently have a Tormach CNC mill, which we do use for most of our parts, but we hope to acquire a CNC lathe for this 2015 season. Trades are still taught and valued, but now the learning is driven by a need to solve a problem. For example, TED students look at a piece of equipment as a solution to a manufacturing a part. The need to run the machine then drives instruction. As the teachers provide the lesson so students can learn the requisite skills to solve the problem. Solutions generated by students and skills taught and learned vary on both a daily and annual basis. The lab is viewed as a library of potential solutions and opportunities. This philosophy better mirrors life. As adults, most of our learning occurs when we have a need to find a solution to a problem. High school should be preparing us to learn in the same manner. My name is Jared DiCarlo and I'm a senior at Lime Old Lime High School. And our robotics team would greatly benefit from having a Tormach CNC lathe. In the past, we've designed uh, many round parts that could be manufactured on a CNC lathe, but we don't have the capabilities in-house to make these parts. With the equipment we have, we can only make simple circular parts like the spool for this winch we've designed. In the past, to make our round parts, we've had to have a separate machine shop make these parts for us, but we've had issues with accuracy and um, the amount of time it takes for them to give us the parts. We think that we would be able to have a much higher accuracy and make the parts a lot quicker because of the success we've had with our Tormach CNC mill. In the past, we've made um, plates for a two-speed shifting transmission for our robotics team. It was a great success and um, helped us with one of our most competitive robotic seasons to date. When researching turning equipment, the Tormach CNC lathe stood out as a perfect fit for our TED lab. This footage depicts very closely some of the type of work we would like to do with the lathe. 
We have over five years experience teaching with Tormach Mills. We integrate SolidWorks design software into the majority of our classes along with HMS Express CAM software. Our background makes us feel comfortable and confident in our ability to make the Tormach lathe a regular part of our TED Labs humming equipment. Hi, I'm Shannon Nozel and I'm a freshman here at Lyme Lime High School. I take classes with Mr. Derry and Mr. Goss and I'm a member of the Lyme Lime robotics team. With over 40 years of combined experience, Mr. Derry and Mr. Goss, our two technology and engineering teachers, are dedicated to not only making Lyme Lime Technology and Engineering Lab a great program for their students, but also pushing instruction forward to set an example for other schools and what can and should be available to everyone. To do this, they regularly collaborate with other teachers, both locally and nationally. We are prepared to help others learn and value the makerspaces by sharing what we know about CNC machining and makerspaces in high schools. Thank you for this great opportunity. We hope we can share more stories with you through videos, blogs, and other avenues as we implement and use both the CNC lathe and all of our equipment.